Less than a year ago, the All Blacks were considered outsiders to win the Rugby World Cup, and just in the last few months alone, they've managed to completely change the narrative around their team. Now recognised by many as the form team heading to France in September, it's their World Cup to win. While the All Blacks haven't had the smoothest journey heading into the Rugby World Cup, they've timed their campaign to absolute perfection. It shouldn't be too difficult in the pool rounds for the All Blacks, they'll be battling out with host France to top the pool, which will be decided in the first game of the tournament. The only other team that could, at a very, very low chance, beat the All Blacks is Italy. In saying that, the draw actually works out perfectly for the men in black. After versing France, they'll have a week off to prepare for Namibia. You would presume they'll field pretty much a second strength side to get the job done, and then they'll have a whole two weeks off to field a full strength side against Italy. It's a very friendly draw. The All Black squad itself is the most experienced All Black squad in history, with 1,493 test caps, but is seemingly still filled with future stars. All the talking points leading up to the World Cup were about coach Ian Foster not being the right man for the job, which ended up working in the All Blacks' favour. It has taken so much pressure off the playing group, and they're playing some really free, expansive rugby at the moment. While I'm sure Foster will face a lot of scrutiny if the All Blacks are to fail, he's done a great job to put the spotlight on himself and not the playing group. This was their lineup against the Springboks, and they rolled out pretty much the same side against the Wallabies the following match, which seems like their full strength side. They'll be captained by number 7 Sam Kane, with leaders spread out right across the team. I mean, Cody Taylor, Brody Retallick, Scott Barrett, Artie Savea, Aaron Smith, Richie Maunga, and Bowden Barrett could all be captains in their own right. They're in hot form, undefeated in the Rugby Championship with a plus 75 for and against in 3 matches. In fact, they haven't lost in their last 11 games. Now, they have a playstyle which is extremely multidimensional. That you can't really define it, but there are some certainties that sit inside of it. The All Blacks will score plenty of tries. They completely changed rugby with how quickly they turned defence into attack, a trait that is still part of their team DNA. Their outside backs run an insane amount of metres, never standing out cold on the wing. Between Richie Maunga and Bowden Barrett, they'll tactically torment teams with the field position they're able to get the All Blacks into. The All Blacks pretty much always use the two-fly half method to their advantage. The variance in their deep kicks, cross kicks, chip kicks, grubbers and high balls, while also having a perfect passing game and speed to burn, keeps the opposition second-guessing every decision. Since the inclusion of Jason Ryan, they won't concede too many more tries throughout the tournament. And you can't hold the ball inside that 22. You just can't. They have far too many ball threats and no one comes up as clutch as Adi Surveyor when they need a big game moment. If you haven't watched the All Blacks in a while, keep your eye out for Mark Talia, just magic to watch, and same with Lester Fangunuku. Both will be damaging with ball in hand. There's also 2K23 version of Shannon Frizzell and Scott Barrett who are just monstering opposition players at every opportunity. Then you have your known freaks in Artie Savea, Will Jordan, Richie Maunga and Bowden Barrett. My prediction for the All Blacks, well, this is a superstar team with nothing really working against them at the moment. They're going to go to at least the semi-finals in this World Cup. I'm sure there'll be a lot of added value down in the comments section. This video is part of my series previewing teams for the Rugby World Cup. If you did enjoy it, please check out my playlist on YouTube as it really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching. Yeah.